Maxi Shine uh, system. I'm replacing the Asus P5NT 780 with the XFX 780 SLI board. Also, I'm adding a six channel fan controller, full aluminium. So, here we have the DA1200 Silverstone 1200 watt PSU with a single rail pushing 90 amps, which is good for multi multiple uh, graphics card setups like this. At the moment I've only got two graphics cards installed. The third one is still sitting over here. But this motherboard's coming out anyway regardless. I've added an extra cold cathode down the bottom. As you can see the wiring now. Very neat. Let's check it out all the way. Nice and straight. Cable tied all nice running up through there. Up through the back. Trying to keep it as neat as possible. These are the extra two six pin PCI Express for the middle card. Now this is some extreme cooling I've done. Two 80 mil fans running at full speed, flying onto the cards. And then at the back of the case, a 120 mil screwed into the back where the three cards sit. That's actually made temperatures about 15 degrees cooler. Exiting, um, exhausting a lot of air out of the computer. I've also um, water cooled the north bridge. And now, just the uh, motherboard upgrade. This is the Zelman six channel multi fan controller. As you can expect from Zelman. Beautiful finish. Everything seems to be built very well. I'm getting rid of the electronic fan controller. It's just too cumbersome. So this will be just nice and quick. Nice little LEDs, turn them off. Very nice. Nice addition to the Lion Lee V2000. See how that looks when that's all wired up. The uh, 780 SLI XFX board going to be the replacement for my P5NT 780 there's nothing but problems all I can advise to anybody is stay away from Asus as they've moved their uh, manufacturing to China now ever since then everything seems to have gone downhill with the Striker I've cancelled my order for the Striker too and just gone with the XFX seems to be a good board all round we'll just check out what's inside as we, un as we unpackage the box we're greeted with a nice play hard on the black enclosure. Oh, that's awesome. I'll be putting that on the door. My wife won't be too impressed. Do not disturb. Always with unusual packaging. Very nice. So we've got two parts here for this. This would be the motherboard. Under here would be all the accessories. Mm, a lot of black SATA cables, very nice. The solo connectors. We'll find out what this is later. Cooling fan, got heaps of those. Here's the board itself, looks like just a reference design board. The NVIDIA extra cooling. Very well built. I like the green uh, PCI Express slots. Nice touch. Welcome, viewers. Time for another Maxi Shine update. As you all got, you guys all remember the one-year-old system, the um, 1200 watt Silverstone PSU. 8800 Ultras running in 3 way SLI, a 150 gig uh, Raptor drive, Swift Tech water cooling, and Zominator modules. The latest uh, addition is going to be 
see if we can find it. The QX9650. Big box for a CPU. Just open it up and see what it looks like inside. Just open up the packaging. Let's see how we go. That is impressive. What we get in the packaging is the little sucker there. And this huge fan, which is very impressive for Intel, for a stock fan. Very impressive. Let's hold it up against the computer to get uh, scale of how big this thing is, man. Check that out. That is huge. You know, it's not going to be used, it'll be used with the old QX6700. And here we have the QX9600, 9650, 3 GHz, 12 MB cache, 1333 FSB. We'll see how that goes. At the moment, I'm running this at 1600 FSB at 3.6 GHz. It's very stable. Got the system up and running now. Got the QX9650 running at 1680 FSB, which is 4.2 gigahertz. Got an idle of around 39 degrees. Running Call of Duty now at the moment, just to bench it. See if I can run some games without any, without any problems. So you can see uh, about 65% CPU usage, 51 degrees. Graphics card at 75. Um, and at 2560 by 1600 with 4 times AA, I'm actually getting nearly 250 frames a second, which is pretty incredible, I think. Well uh, worth the upgrade.